Okay, this last video today, tomorrow will be a gaming video, probably more politics then. Markiplier, I have Markiplier playing in the background on my other TV, yada yada yada. Anyway, enough me babbling like an idiot, this is the 1867 alternate history election. This is if the Confederacy won the Civil War, and I threw in Delaware, Maryland, D.C. Uh, I don't think D.C. should actually be there, actually. Uh, disabled state, yeah, I don't think D.C. should be there. My bad, my bad. Delaware, Maryland, Kentucky, and Missouri. I'll just throw those in there just because I feel like they would win that land back. Anyway. There's no reconstruction. They're just in. I mean, they were slave states beforehand, but screw it. We're going to... This is pretty much 1867, the second Confederate presidential election. Vice President Alexander Stevens would be going up against General Robert E. Lee. Now, this is... <laughs> Just, uh, Virginia's going, obviously going to go to Robert E. Lee. Alexander Stevens is going to win the state of Georgia. Uh, you might as well just say Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, Missouri will also go to General Lee. Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, obviously going to go to Mr. Lee. Stevens will win the state of Maryland, but that's pretty much it. Delaware, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi. This is pretty much a squash in your normal everyday life. So, Robert E. Lee wins the election by a landslide with 105 electoral votes to Alexander Stevens' 21. This is simple. Really simple. Robert E. Lee was a general. He led the South to victory. And Alexander Stevens was just your vice president. No. And he wouldn't be getting any of the credit. It would just be Davis, not him. So everybody would look to Lee as Davis's successor, not the vice president. So I'm doing more of these. This was fun, even though this was quick. But this is the category one. And seeing you tomorrow.